We our journey in Perthshire, the gateway to the Highlands, at a historic site that's home to an ancient royal palace. Once a capital of the Pictish Kingdom, a centre for the ancient Celtic religion, a seat of parliaments and a crowning place of kings, over its 1500 year history, Schoon Palace became a potent symbol for Scotland's emergence as an independent nation. Thousands of years before Scotland existed, this rugged country was the land of the Picts, and Schoon was at its heart. A palace has stood here at Schoon for over 900 years. But the building we see today dates back only as far as 1808. It's pretty impressive, but Schoon's real importance lies in its grounds. We've asked medievalist Fiona Watson to pinpoint Schoon's key part in Scottish history. This is what Schoon is all about, what places it at the heart of Scottish history. Because this mound, the Moot Hill, doesn't look like very much, it's not really Ben Nevis or anything like that, but it's where all the earliest kings of Scots were inaugurated. And they did that because their predecessors, the kings of the Picts, they had all been inaugurated here. And what these kings of Scots are trying to do is bring together a new Scotland. 2,000 years ago, when Schoon was the focal point of the land of the Picts, there was a rival kingdom to the west. You've got the Celtic Scots coming in from Ireland and they set up their own kingdom of Dalriada out in Argyll on the western seaboard. And eventually, there's a lot of toing and froing and friction and intermarriage, eventually the king of Dalriada becomes the king of Pictland and it's through that that we eventually get the kingdom of Scotland. Scotland was united in 843 AD. The country's first king was Kenneth MacAlpin from Dalriada in the west. When he came to Schoon, he brought what would become the greatest symbol of Scottish nationhood. This is what it's all about. This is the Stone of Destiny, the Stone of, of Schoon, where the kings of the Picts and then the kings of Scots were all inaugurated. But the Stone of Destiny is vitally important to the symbolic process of making a, a king of Scots. Every Scottish king for 700 years, from MacAlpin to Macbeth, Robert the Bruce to James IV came to be crowned at Schoon. There are still reminders here of the palace's importance in Scottish history. This is where, to be honest, Scotland in a way was created and if you want to understand that history, you have to come here. The guardians of this historic site today are the Earls of Mansfield. For centuries, the family have been at the heart of Scottish affairs. Lady Stormont is married to the heir of Schoon Palace and doesn't underestimate its historical importance. It's our family home, but it's also the most important place in Scottish history where all the kings are crowned. It's scary because you walk outside and you feel that, wow, this is where Macbeth stood, this is where Robert the Bruce stood, this is where Charles II stood. And that to have in your back garden is, is, is awesome. But Schoon's greatest treasure, the Stone of Destiny, which came to symbolise the United Scotland, is today just a replica. The original was taken by the English. In 1296, Edward I had invaded, taken over Scotland, and he came especially here to Schoon this symbolic place to take away the symbols of Scottish kingship. He got the Black Rood, the Cross of St Margaret and the Stone of Destiny. Edward I, the Hammer of the Scots, took the Stone of Destiny back to Westminster Abbey as a powerful statement of his dominance in Scotland. He had the stone placed beneath the coronation chair where successive monarchs of England have been crowned, including our own Queen, Elizabeth II. But in 1996, the stone was finally returned to Scotland, but not to its ancient home at Schoon. Instead, to the new symbol of Scottish nationhood, Edinburgh Castle. Despite Schoon's loss of prominence as a Scottish icon, it still lies at the centre of the country's dramatic history. 
this is the heart of Scottish kingship and therefore the heart of the Scottish nation. Schoon is, in effect, the Westminster Abbey of Scotland. Schoon Palace is one of Britain's best because it was at the heart of the ancient Pictish kingdom. For over 700 years, it was the crowning place of Scottish kings. But most importantly, it's the birthplace of a united Scotland. We've reached the end of the journey through our selection of Scotland's historic sites. And it's certainly not been easy to pick those places that say the most about the country. It's been an extraordinary trip through the places that endure as a revealing guide to the history of a nation.